Hello friends, welcome to the series of lecture of mathematics 1. In the last session, we have seen some concept of partial derivatives. Now we are going with the application of partial derivative. The first topic we are going to take is the extreme values or you can say that maximum or minimum values. Okay. Now, first of all, if you have given any two variable function, f is a function of x and y. Then we are going to apply the following steps to find the extreme values or maximum or minimum values. Okay. First step, find P, Q, R, S and T. Now, P is nothing but that is your derivative with respect to X. That is del F by del X. Q is del F by del Y. R is del square F upon del X square. S is del square F upon del X del Y. And T is del square F upon del Y square. Okay, these are the standard notation of partial derivatives which we are going to use for a maximum minimum. Now, this is your first step. Second step, for stationary value, what you have, take P is equal to 0 and Q is equal to 0. Okay, so stationary value, what we are going to do, we are going to take first order derivative is equal to 0. Now, solve that two equation and find out the values of x and y. Suppose a comma b is a stationary point by solving p is equal to 0 and q equal to 0 we get then at that point your function is either maximum or minimum or it is neither maximum nor minimum. So in that case what we are going to do we have to check out the condition of rt minus s square. Now here we have drawn one tray table. In table we have written the condition. First we have to check whether RT minus S square is greater than or less than 0. Suppose it is greater than 0, then we have an extreme value. If RT minus S, S square has a greater than 0 value and if R has a negative value, that means R is less than 0, then function is maximum. Same manner if RT minus S square is greater than 0, and r is positive that means r is greater than 0 then the function f has a minimum value same manner if rt minus s square is negative itself is a negative then the point is called a saddle point that means at that point your function is neither maximum nor minimum that means it is a point which is not at a bottom or a top okay and if rt minus s square is equal to 0, then we have to do the further investigation. That means you cannot say anything about maximum, minimum or a saddle point. And you have to apply another test or you have to go further to investigate the extreme value at that point. Okay. Now this is same as whatever you have learned for one variable. Here only the extra condition is rt minus s square is greater than 0. Okay, now we are going with an example. Now, first example we are taking is find the maximum and minimum value of x cube plus 3xy square minus 3x square y, 3x square minus 3y square plus 7. So, f is nothing but x cube plus 3xy square minus 3x square minus 3y square plus 7. So, first we have to find out the derivatives. So, p, q, r, s, t. So, step 1 p is equal to del f by del x that means derivative with respect to x that is 3x square plus 3y square minus 6x. Same manner q is del f by del y that will be a 6xy minus 6y. r is del square f upon del x square that means derivative of p with respect to x that is nothing but 6x minus 6. Same manner s, s is nothing but del square f upon del x del y that means either di differentiate p with respect to y or q with respect to x and that will be a 6y and same manner t is nothing but del square f upon del y square that is derivative of q with respect to y that is 6x minus 6. Now once you have all derivative first and second order derivatives then for stationary points you have to put p is equal to 0 and q is equal to 0. So p is equal to 0 that will give you 3x square plus 3y square minus 6x is equal to 0 and 
minus 6xy minus 6y is equal to 0. So now we are starting with a q is equal to 0. From that we are going to common out 6y. That will give 6y into x minus 1 is equal to 0. So that will give you y is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1. So this is the condition we have. We, we don't get the point still. We have to find out the point. So what we are going to do? We are going to use this condition in P. P is equal to 0. That means first we are going to check out it for y is equal to 0 and put this value in p is equal to 0. So we are going to put this value in p then the equation is reducing in a form of 3x square minus 6x is equal to 0. So 3x common out and you will have 3x into x minus 2 is equal to 0. So either x is 0 or x is 2 when y is 0. That means you have a two points x is 0 and y is 0 and x is 2 and y is 0. So these two are the stationary point for y is equal to 0. Same manner case 2 we are going to put x is equal to 1. Then the equation is reducing in the form of 3y square minus 3 is equal to 0. So that will give you 3 into y square minus 1 is equal to 0 and that will give you y is equal to plus or minus 1. So for x is equal to 1 we have y is equal to plus or minus 1. So we have two points 1 comma 1 and 1 comma minus 1. These two are also the stationary points. So totally we have four stationary points. First one is 0, 0, then 1, 1, 1, minus 1 and 2, 0. Now we are going to make a table. So for table we are going to take points, values of R, S, T, value of R, T minus S square. Then whether the point is maximum or minimum or it is a saddle point and then maximum or minimum value if it exists. So first we are going to put 0, 0. Now r has a value 6x minus 6. So put x is 0, that will give r is equal to minus 6. Same manner s is going to be 0 because it has a value 6y and y is 0. Same manner s, a t has a value 6x minus 6. So x has a value 0, so that will give you minus 6. And if you are going to find rt minus s square, then it will be a 36. Now 36 is greater than 0. Okay, if rt minus s square is greater than 0, then we are going to check whether r is greater than 0 or it is less than 0. Here your r is less than 0. It has a negative value. That means your function has a maximum value at this point 0, 0. Same manner for point 2, 0. We are going to write it in the form of, uh, we are going to substitute the values. Then we will have r is equal to 6, s is 0, t is equal to 6. So rt minus s square that will be a 36. Again, rt minus s square is positive. So we are going to check r is positive or negative. Here r is positive because it is 6. And that's why your function is minimum at this point. Okay. okay. Same manner, if you are going to find the maximum or minimum value, then f maximum will be f of 0, 0. And if you are going to put x and y is equal to 0 in original function, then you have a maximum value 7. Same manner, if you are going to put 2, 0 in the function, then that will give you the minimum value and that will be a 3. Now, 1, 1. If you are going to put 1, 1 in RST, then R is going to be 0, S is going to be 6, T is going to be 0 and RT minus S square will be minus 36. Now, RT minus S square is negative. That means this point is a saddle point. That means your function is neither maximum nor minimum at this point. Same manner, if you are going to put 1 comma minus 1, then r is 0, s is minus 6, and t is 0. So rt minus s square is again going to be a minus 36. And since it is negative, so rt minus s square is negative, so your point is a saddle point. Okay? So you have one maximum, one minimum, and two saddle points. Okay? Same manner, we are going to take one another example. Find the maximum and minimum values of x cube plus 3xy square minus 15x square minus 15y square plus 72x. Again, you, we are going to say that f is equal to x cube plus 3xy square minus 15x square minus 15y square plus 72x. So we are directly assuming that f is this and differentiating with respect to x, y, double derivative with respect to x, 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 y, and y, y. That will give p is equal to 3x square plus 3y square 
minus 30x plus 72. That is your value of p. Same manner q will be a 6xy minus 30y. Same manner r is 6x minus 30, s is 6y and t is 6x minus 30. Now, for extreme value or stationary values, p is equal to 0, q is equal to 0. So, p is equal to 0, that will give you 3x square plus 3y square minus 30x plus 72 is equal to 0. And q is equal to 0, that will give you 6xy minus 30y is equal to 0. So, now we are going to substitute these values and using this condition, first use the condition of q that will give you 6xy minus 30y is equal to 0. So, 6y common out and that will give you 6y into x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, this will give you y is equal to 0 or x is equal to 5. So, again we are going to use this condition in p is equal to 0. So, first for y is equal to 0, what we have is 3x square minus 30x plus 72 is equal to 0, 3 common out and you will have 3 into x square minus 10x plus 24 is equal to 0. So, factorizing 24 that will give you minus 6 minus 4. So, that will give you x 3 into x minus 6, x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, either x is 6 or x is 4. So, that means for y is equal to 0, you have two values of x. So, we have two stationary points, 4 comma 0 and 6 comma 0. Same manner, second condition we are going to put is for x is equal to 5. So, that will give you 3 y square minus 3 is equal to 0. So, that is nothing but 3 into y square minus 1 is equal to 0. So, that will give y is equal to plus or minus 1. So, you have two stationary point for x is equal to 5. That is nothing but 5 comma 1 and 5 comma minus 1. So, totally we have a four points. First one is a 4 0, then 6 0, then 5 1 and then 5 minus 1. So, for these four points, we are going to draw a table. So, in table first, we are taking points. Secondly, R, S, T, then R, T minus S square. Then the conclusion, maximum, minimum or saddle point. And at last, we are going to take maximum or minimum value. Okay. Now, the first point is 4 comma 0. And we are going to put this value in R, S, T. Then we will have R is equal to minus 6. S is 0. T is minus 6. And that will give R into T minus S square is 36. Now, 36 is greater than 0. So, we are going to check out whether R is positive or negative. So, here R is negative. That means it is less than 0. So, your function is maximum at this point. And if we have to find the maximum value, then we have to put this value in original function. So, we are going to find out the value of F 4 comma 0. And the maximum value is nothing but 112. Same manner 6 comma 0 is the second point and we are going to put that value in R S T. Then we will have R is equal to 6, S is 0, T is 6 and R T minus S square is 36. Now 36 is greater than 0. That means we have to check out R. So R is also positive. That means greater than 0. So your function is minimum at this point. And if you have to find the minimum value, then F of 6 comma 0 that will be a 108. So, maximum value is 112, minimum value is 108. Now, third point is 5 comma 1. If you are going to put this value in RST, then you will have 0, 6, 0. RS and T has a value 0, 6 and 0. And RT minus S square is going to be minus 36. So, it is negative. RT minus S square is negative. That's why your function is a first said function has neither maximum nor minimum at that point and that point is a saddle point. Same manner for 5 comma minus 1, you will have 0 minus 6, 0 and again RT minus S square is minus 36. That means this point is also a saddle point. Okay. Now, these are the topics which we have covered in this session. If you have any doubt or any query regarding this topic, then please feel free to contact me. Thank you.